guys, Coffee Cause Game Tips and Halloween Bunny reporting for Junie. I meant duty, not Junie, but anyway guys, so we're going back to Club Penguin News. So we are not in the studio at the start because we actually have to celebrate Club Penguin's 8th anniversary. So that's pretty awesome and uh, they've had some, quite some cool stuff. We'll get into the Halloween stuff after, but first we have to get into Club Penguin's 8th anniversary. Come on, this is special. So these are like jackhammers through the ages here and this is an octopus like honestly I hadn't even looked at it yet so this is like new to me anyway. You can get this background. I just figured that is what it is because of the camera and they usually hit this. You found this old town. Oh yeah, that was the old town I remember those days. It's so nostalgic. And this is the birthday pack cake and here is the 8th anniversary hat so that is awesome we've got it okay let's see what it looks like on okay guys so I think I look pretty cool my uh, club penguin anniversary hat so that's it and yeah it looks pretty awesome so yeah guys um but sadly we can't be a Halloween bunny anymore because we can't put bunny ears on and you know like hats so sorry about the background noises um you can probably hear it but yes Anyway, uh, this is new Club Penguin yearbook, so uh, thanks to our 8th year rock, check out some of the year's most epic moments. So these are, um, they usually do a few from 2012 they missed in the first book. October 2012, we chewed down some tasty cake to celebrate 7 years of Club Penguin. Then we transformed to ghost hunters and crept through the mansion and all that stuff so you can read it. I don't like being. Oh yeah, I remember all these times. Does this show your pin? Oh yeah, I remember that pin, I've got it. Oh yeah, I remember that. That was a quite cool party. Oh, I loved that party. Ooh, and that party was pretty cool. And that party was one of the best. Puffle party. And what was this again? Oh yeah, I remember that. She didn't enjoy the party much. I don't know why. Oh yeah, this party. Yeah, Kajutsu Snow when it came out. That was pretty cool. And the Monster University takeover. And Oh yeah, the Star Wars one was just epic. Then there was this one. Teen Beach movie wasn't really my thing, but yeah. Then there was the Medieval Party, which is like back like a while ago, and that was pretty awesome. I loved that. And yeah. There's all the things they've said and Hmm, it's pretty cool. Um, I like the new party book, it's quite nice. Um, the old ones, in my opinion, were better. Like, they're not actually bad. I guess it's just because they're kind of nostalgic. Oh, I feel nostalgic about that book in a few years. But yeah, that's pretty much all about the anniversary, and it's pretty cool. And we better change our background to that one we got. Yeah, we better do that. Okay, we look better with that now. The old town. Let's actually see the difference between those. Like, and like, let's have a look. Um. Yeah, it's a big difference. Well, that's actually just because it's Halloween. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's a like, giant difference. But that's because it's Halloween. Like, that's <laughs> that's kind of funny. It's just like all these pumpkins and everything. Guess it is Halloween. But now onto the Halloween. Okay, guys. So my house is all scary for Halloween, and I'm not sure if you got this message last video. If you didn't, sorry. But yeah, try to spot all the orcs in my igloo and comment below how many you can see. But Anyway, I meant puffer orcs, it's not like orcs, puffer orcs. But anyway, we now know the use for this, so I'll show you guys. These pumpkin things I mentioned in the last episode, actually, you collect random candy for them, and you'll see this. And, and yeah, they open up and you get candy and stuff. And I'll show you some more stuff. Um, the candies, if you collect all nine types, you earn this special like thing for your head. I haven't wore it, I wore it once, I didn't really like it. But it looks pretty cool actually, so yeah, you can get that if you get all these. And the and now I should mention these. These are like these are all the first ones, like right down here where my mouse is, are the full moon fibers. And if you eat any of them you'll become a werewolf, so that's pretty cool. Werewolf penguin. And then there's the fang fudgies, which are all down this row, and they all turn you into vampires. Then there's the zombie fingers where you all turn into like zombies. So anyway guys, so I'm just going to show you what they do. Okay, I am now a werewolf wearing a party hat and bunny slippers. Kind of ridiculous. Oh, and now I'm a, 
And now I'm a vampire and wearing a party hat and wearing bunny slippers. Also quite ridiculous. And now I'm a zombie wearing a party hat and bunny slippers. Not ridiculous at all. Zombies were born to have party hats on their heads and bunny slippers. But anyways, so yeah, it looks pretty cool. All those transformations and everything like that. Okay, so this is my Puffle Goldie, the yellow Puffle, and as you can see, he is wearing a pumpkin helmet. Well, that's because you can now buy in the catalog, special Halloween catalog, I'll show you that in a sec. You can buy these awesome Halloween, like, these Halloween um, pumpkins for your Puffle's head. So, yeah, I put it on the yellow Puffle, just because the yellow Puffle was originally first sighted in Halloween. That's a true fact. Okay, guys, so as you probably saw from before, this is the pumpkin leader as I was talking about, but you don't only get those zombies candies done. You can get just normal candy and you can buy these items and stuff. The candies, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, and those are the items for everyone. Um, none members can buy those and um, I'm a member and I can buy all these too. But yeah, if you're not a member, you can buy those and they're pretty sweet. And those are also items for everyone. And these are all the member items. So yeah. Okay guys, so this is the next thing, it's called Trick or Treat Eagles, and it says these Eagles are open to Trick or Treaters, check them out to get candy. So anyways, uh, these are all, I'm pretty sure all these are all the people online who have those pumpkin things in there, like Igloos, those like pumpkin things that give you candy, but yeah, and I'm one of them. I don't actually have that much likes, yeah, <laughs> I wish I oh that's a lot of likes around those. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I've been zombified. Penguin power. Okay guys, so I decided to actually just include this uh, for the last part. This is a giant pumpkin that's replaced um, the iceberg. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And when you drill into it, it makes these holes. So that is awesome. I actually haven't drilled into it much, so I haven't seen what really happens after. But this is pretty cool. Like, look at that. It's making all these holes. Wait, I'll be back in a sec when I um, make some more holes and I'll show you them. Yeah guys, so there's some more holes now. Like They're all the same hole, they're just bigger, you know, about the mom. Yeah, so that's pretty awesome and epic, you know. Guys, that is just awesome. Surprisingly, surprisingly guys, what I said actually last episode, uh, uh, let me just say, isn't exactly true. So, uh, yeah, that's a uh, big, because I thought Rookie would mess up the party or something, but he didn't. and. Also, the Night of Living Sled is on right at the moment, so you can see one, two, and three. So that is pretty awesome. Or well, some popcorn and thing, and just watch it. So yeah, that is really awesome. If you want to watch um, a Club Penguin horror movie, that would be more known as funny and comedy, because it's not really scary. But still, uh, I guess it is for penguins. Anyway, guys, we are back in the Halloween studio, and uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this episode two of Club Penguin News and Confidence Games out. Please like, favorite, and subscribe to join the Orange Kill Army. See ya!